imagine like you get someone, you let someone get really close. He has on the hook, he has the head control, he's right on my side, so like everything's gonna be terrible after this. You know what I mean? Like, I have to get out of here. There's no magic I should get out of here. So let's not let someone get that close because we don't wanna spend that much energy. We don't wanna like waste the energy, match like right in the beginning of the mat, you know what I mean? And we have to get out, we have to get out like from the beginning. We don't have to wait to things get worse to have to fix. So he's on my side. I know he's gonna use his arms to hold me. He's gonna try to hold my head. He's gonna try to get the underhook. So I have to block either one. So I can just focus and don't let this arm control me. And then I have like a big opening over here. Or I can focus in the other arm to don't let it hold my head. And then I have even another opening for me. So I can get out. Or I can just push the arm away. So let's focus in something. Don't let the person like get a grip from you. Get a, a control. Don't don't give it to him. And every energy gotta be spent before that. You know, we don't want to spend that much energy after. We gotta spend before. You know what I mean? Because after it's gonna just cost so much more. So I call, I focus on this. I focus on that. But now once I start to focus on this, guys, even that I not be able to break because he's already make his grip. He make his grip over here. He make his grip over here. So like now I, I've been having a hard time. So I couldn't like clean this up, I couldn't clean out the arm. So one thing that we can do beside that, if you cannot take this arm out, if you cannot take the other arm out, let's just sit up, let's just get out of here. If he need to keep you flat to hold, he's not gonna hold me flat because I'm not gonna wait for him. So just start to rock your feet and just start to sit up. But together that sit up guys, I want you guys focus to push him away. Push him away, what I mean is like the arm that is close to him, I want you guys used to push him. This arm can go on the same side of the shoulder, or this arm can go on the other side of the shoulder. Both ways, I can get like a good control and distance from him, you know what I mean? So, over here, I can push this, or I try to break this, I can push the other way. So both ways, I keep like a good distance from him. But then after I sit up over here, he probably is gonna be really close to me. So I gotta just keep keep a distance from him. And this is gonna give like a good control to don't let him push me back. And also, this hand is what is gonna help to don't let him push me back. Now look, the closest leg, I'm gonna try just like pull it and recover. Maybe the closest leg is too close, come closer. The close leg is too close now. So the far leg, and do the same thing. So do whatever is easier. If you have enough space, and recall. If you don't have that much space, and recall. So one more time, he's on my side. I try to push this, he make a grip on him. So now I couldn't break. I could break later, but I don't have that much time because I don't want to give him the three points. It's gonna cost me a lot later if I have to fight for those three points. If you have two points ahead of me, it's gonna be really hard. So I don't wanna deal with that. I prefer to spend my energy now. So if I cannot break this, start sit up. This hand, if you have time, you can put your thumb inside, keep this, and recall. If you don't have time, just make a grip on top. The same thing on the other side. This hand could go inside, my thumb inside. If it's too close, if I cannot break this leg, the other leg goes inside. If it's too close, if you start pushing, you can even push him off. But every time, guys, after we we survive that, that attack that he almost almost crushed us like uh, the guard pass, get back to his arm. Focus on his arm because there is no way he can get on your side if you control his arm. He can run to my side, but I'm gonna be able to just follow him. He can't hold me down and just run to my side. So let's go try guys. I hope everybody understands like the idea that we talk about. He got on my side. I wish to clean up this arm, but I couldn't clean up this arm. I, it's, it's gonna take too, too long to focus on the other arm. So I have to react before he takes the three points. Because if I wait, I'm gonna have to get out of here, but he already gonna have the three points. So it's better get out before I give the three points they have to get out later after he already got the three points. So if you have to spend energy, that's the time to spend energy. All right? 
Later, if you want to trade like a technique that's going to take you out, you know, take some time. All right, but now, if you have to spend energy, you spend now before he make the points. So, rock your feet. Try sit up. Try sit up and try block with your arm. Go the other side. Try block. You don't let he like push you back. But he's gonna be driving you back. So keep your arm like pushing. And he got really close now. He got really close. I try to put this foot, doesn't work. I try to put the other, doesn't work. That's the time that I want you guys to use the same leg that you used first, just to hook outside his leg and just push and then recover. So that's the idea that we have to do over here. First one, second one. First one doesn't work, second doesn't work, first one outside. Push and recover. But you don't have to do all this if it's open. If it's open, just recover over there and just get everything like away from you, you know, I'm just getting out. You know? So, I got over here, I'm pushing, first, second, recall outside. Stretch, recall. That's easy. After get over here, it's easy. But I don't want you guys to stop. Once you guys get over here, on the hook, just let it flex through. Right after you got in front of him, start like I just just sweep. I just just sweep, I mean like, a, go to any position you want to sweep that doesn't take that much arrangement. So on the hook, um, call a control, any position that you just, just don't wait. As soon as you recover, let's try sweep. Let's go try guys. Guys, just like before, I was focused on his arm. I couldn't clean up his arm, he made his grip. I don't want to wait over here, I sit up. I make the grip also. Now I start to recover. I'm doing all those like I know. Recover that I can with my leg. But then I feel he starts to hold my legs. Look what he's doing. He just starts like just control more weight on my leg. Keep keep holding my back. So my leg doesn't bend, you know what I mean? So the, it, it's not helping like it to recover the leg. Guys, in this position. If I cannot like uh, use my legs anymore, I gotta get back, start using my arms again. So what I mean is like, every time you feel your legs stuck over there, you know, you don't have to wait till he make the best grip, I just tight, tight. You don't have to wait till he get this super tight over here, get back. So he's over here, as soon as you feel he start hold over there, you know, your legs start spread out. Don't let him tie it up. You know what I mean? And don't wait till he make a grip on his belt, you know what I mean? So, you know, he start holding your legs over there, not let you move, all right. Stop, think about the legs. This arm that is supposed over here, start to go over there. Start to go over there and start to pull it on top of you. Pull it on top of you, but not to let him hold, but just on the hook. I have on the hook. I have on the hook, but he has no control for me. So if this on the hook over here, guys, I'm gonna start just recovering this side. And from here, if you have the right angle, go to the sweep. If you don't have the right angle, just sit up again and, and then go there. But if you cannot push, if you cannot recover, on the hook and start getting under him. What I mean is like uh, every time you underhook him, you control him and he's not controlling you. So just like before, try sit up over here. I try to recover and start holding. Look at the position that I want. After, after I get this on the hook, I pull you on top of me. Let's hip skate. Get this knee inside. Just to keep a, a, a more distance from it. And the other leg comes as a hook to end with the butterfly sweep. So guys, it's simple, but you have to just like it be one after the other. You can get too confused. You, it's, your leg's stuck. All right. Change, change your game. You set to recall with your leg on the hook, and then later you keep recall. But let's do this first. Let's go back. Right. 